Oh! Oh my car! Oh god! What happens when an RC car hits an egg? It's 70 miles an hour. I think we're gonna use the infraction for this one, but before we do that, we gotta fix the outcast. All right, unfortunately the other day when we were running the outcast, we kind of completely destroyed the spur gear. So, we got a new one here, we're gonna throw it on. I think the best way to do this is just like this. Boom, back in business. To the parts graveyard with you. I don't know guys, something just doesn't seem right about this and I've gone over the parts diagram many times and I don't know, something about the slop and the gears just doesn't seem right, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, let's just do this. What? Wait, it didn't work. One more shot. Boom, arm tough, baby. God, what is going on with these things recently? Thank God, I think I figured it out. This is the battery that we were trying to use. Keep in mind, last week I ruined one of these SMC packs. So I bought another one. This pack is no less than a week old. One cell, two cell, I don't know if you can really see that. Three cell, does not go above three cells. And this is a four cell pack. Now I plug in this battery and you can see one cell, two cell, three cell, four cell. Another bad pack by SMC. I have had really good luck with these in the past, but two in the last like week and a half or so, I mean, this is insane. But all I can say is it really hurts to spend literally hundreds of dollars on batteries to have them all kind of fail on you. It, I don't have anything good to say about it right now. All right, we've made it out. We've got the high speed camera set up here and we've got the egg set up over there. This might not really be cool, but I really wanted to try it. Whoa, 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 whoa. We missed it completely. Oh, we did it. Oh man. Dude, egg went everywhere. Oh, it's all over the car. Oh man. Well, while we're here, we may as well slash the skate park. I'm thinking one really big jump. Just to send her straight to the moon. Oh! Oh my car. Oh God. Oh! Oh my God. Oh my God. That would have been so bad. Oh! Oh! oh. Guys, holy crap. Oh. Oh, that's never a good sound. Holy crap, my heart rate is racing so much. Oh my God. Wow. That was so close to being so bad. I, when I was looking at the footage afterwards, I saw that I was pointing the camera a little bit up at the sky. So I don't know if you guys can really see how close that was. But all right, uh, a couple of people have asked me for a kind of like tour of my workshop and also kind of just a review of all of the cars and planes in my collection. So I thought we'd do that today. All right, this is my Arma Typhon 6S, probably one of the fastest, best, highest flying RC cars you can possibly get your hands on. Right now it's completely stock, but I have plans of making this thing do about 100 miles an hour and we're already in the process of making those videos of the world's highest flying RC car. Next is this team associated RB10. I got this because I really wanted to get a RC buggy that would be a really great starter buggy. I never had one before except for that low C XXCR which is about 26 years old but I wanted to get one that was modern that I could kind of compare those to and also just kind of get my feet wet in the world of RC buggy racing. This is the low C XXCR. I made a video a little while ago on this one. A super cool car from about 26, 27 years ago. Completely stock, but 100% functioning. I love this thing. I hope to have it for a long time. Not gonna take that one down, but there's the HyperGo Infraction clone up there. A really fun mini RC drift car, but not really worth talking about. All right, this was a fun project right here. Still need to fix this. I got all the parts up there for it. This is the Traxxas 4Tech with the C8 Corvette body on it. I made a video on this, turning this from a 2S basher to a 3S basher. The speed was still not very impressive on it, but it was a lot of fun to build. That car 
is over here. Currently working on a video with this. This is the Arma Infraction. This thing is an absolute animal. Super fast, a ton of fun, great for drifting and just all around bashing. I sent this thing off a jump. I'll overlay the footage on here earlier in this video and I literally almost destroyed my car. It was absolutely crazy. I am kind of still shooken up by that one. Now, this car right here is the HPI WR8. This is one of my best performing videos thus far on YouTube. I basically just did a unboxing and bashing of this thing. And as far as on-road cars go, if you want a scale looking car to just, this thing will do like 60 miles an hour. It's absolutely crazy. But if you're looking for a car that's pretty fast and relatively durable, pretty much all metal construction. I don't know how much you guys can really see it in there. This thing is an absolute animal and a pretty great value. Next up here, we do have the Traxxas Slash. This is the completely stock version, two wheel drive, $200 car, great for bashing. I've sent this thing off the roofs of buildings. It is extremely durable. I've tried to drive, I've, I've literally just tried everything possible to break it and it won't break other than I think like maybe one bent shock, but I think that's it. All right, the next car. One of my only crawlers in my collection other than this guy here, and I've thought about getting into some of the really big crawlers because I think they'd be fun, but I don't know, the videos just don't seem to perform well on YouTube, and I don't, I mean, they're fun, it's entertaining, but overall, like, as far as making videos for you guys, I just don't think it's that entertaining to watch videos of RC cars crawling around. But if you guys want more crawling stuff, I'd be happy to buy some cars for it. Let me know in the description down below. Next up, the Granite. I made a video on this thing a little while ago. It actually was added to my collection, I think not even a month ago. Extremely durable for the most part. The shock towers are kind of brittle and because of that, I have piles of them more over there. It's, it's getting out of control how many shock towers I've broken, but other than shock towers, these things don't really break anything. These are the cheap Amazon wheels on here as well. If you were to buy tires for this whole thing, I think it's about $60. I got this whole set of tires for 35 bucks. I think they're a little bit heavy, so the diff is spinning a little bit, but you could probably fix that by putting some of that dum-dum inside of the diff uh, housing to basically just make it not spin as much. Now, I don't care what any of you say. This is not my opinion. This is a fact. The Arma Outcast, this one right here, in my opinion, is probably one of the best all around RC cars that you can get. If you only have a budget for one RC car, you maybe have say $600 to spend. I think the Arma Outcast is probably the most durablest, very fast, uh, can go huge, 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 huge jumps and is all around just a super badass looking car. I love the way this thing looks so much. We also got the ADAS version. Next up on the list, the Arma Creighton. I have very mixed opinions about this. I've made videos about it all around. Definitely not my most favorite vehicle on the market. These chassis bend very easily. They're, I don't know. It's technically more stable than the Outcast because it has a wider wheelbase. But overall, I just find I every time I take this thing out, I'm breaking stuff on it. All of these arms break super easily. The tires are not the best quality. If I was gonna spend about $600 on a vehicle, like I said, get the Outcast. All right, getting back to the slashes. Well, this isn't a slash. This is the Arma Sentinel 4x4. This is a car I bought for one of my, oh. This is a car that I bought for one of my friends who's basically on the channel a lot. And I thought if he was gonna be on the channel a lot, he should have his own car. So I bought him this. Uh, these tires, uh, relatively expensive. I think like 30 bucks for a set. And every time we take them out, we blow at least three of them. So I'm in the process of trying to find better quality wheels than the ones Armour make because I just haven't had a lot of luck with them. This thing will do about 55 miles an hour. It's completely stock. It's a lot of fun to drive. It does huge jumps, but just, you know, uh, as, far as, as far as the trucks like this go, like like if you were looking at buying something like that or buying like the 4x4 slash down here, I'd probably stick with getting the Sentin. Alrighty, the Ford Raptor. This is from one of the OG videos on this channel. I've had a lot of fun with this thing in the past. I love kind of its like scale-ish looks. Got the licensed Ford body on there from Fox. I think this thing looks absolutely sick. The only issue is it's pretty slow. It does like 20, 25 miles an hour or something like that. It's great for like a kid getting into the hobby, but if you're looking for something really fast, it's just not this. But the great thing about this, it is based on the Traxxas slash frame. So all of the parts from the 4x4 slash here 
here, uh, this slash here, they're all interchangeable parts, which is really great. Now, this guy here is pretty cool. So this is the, it came out like less than a month ago, I think. It is the Traxxas Slash with all pre-upgraded heavy duty parts. I sent this thing off some huge jumps. It took them really well. I don't think we've actually even broke anything on this, which is impressive. The only thing I wish they did differently is they have the regular stock shocks on here. I have bent a lot of these in the past. And I think it'd be great if they gave you heavy duty shocks, but they don't and that's all right. But it is four wheel drive, waterproof, all the great stuff that you get from all of the slashes. Next up down here, you know the deal. The Traxxas X Max needs no introduction to this channel or to any. It is a great all around basher, extremely durable, uh, kind of expensive at around a thousand US dollars, but you get what you pay for with these things. You spend a few hundred dollars, slow, not that durable. I've never actually broken apart on this except for the pinion gear sliding off on occasion, which I think I have fixed now. Now, one of my favorite cars in my collection that I haven't had very long and I'm still working on like truly durability testing it is this massive Arma Outcast 8S. I mean, this thing is an absolute tank. It's a little bit, I believe, wider than the X-Max, but that's longer. I've had some issues with this ESC like I talked about earlier in the video. I broke a fan blade off of that. I'm starting to think that it's a mix between my batteries having issues from SMC, which I made a short about the other day, if you guys wanna go check that out. And also these electronic components just not really handling that hard of a bash, which is unfortunate, but it's the way it is. Super thick steering linkages. The only thing I've managed to break on this is the wheelie bar, which as you can see, I never put back on. I just threw it in the parts graveyard and I don't think I'll ever put it back on. It does pretty good without it. And then there was one, the Losi 5T with a 32cc gas powered two stroke engine. This thing is an absolute mammoth. I mean, just look at my hand next to this. It's shocking how big this thing is. It, it's absolutely wild, extremely durable. We sent this thing off some huge jumps the other day. Definitely looking forward to making more content on this. I did get this one used. As you can see, these things are like, I don't know, 1600 US dollars new able to get it for a thousand bucks. It's a pretty great deal, I think. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys like the Losi 5T? Do you want to see more videos of the Losi 5T? Yeah, let's do it. And the controller graveyard. Look at all these controllers here. More controllers there. We finally did get a Spectrum DX5C transmitter. So hopefully we can kind of start migrating all of these cars over to just using one transmitter instead of needing dozens of them. And it's also better for the planet, which is good for all of us. All right, the last thing that's been in the back of some of my videos recently, and I thought I'd just kind of show you guys what it is. This is a Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver. This thing will cut up to like an inch thick piece of wood. It's absolutely crazy. That's not what we use it for though. Over the past few months, I've started really getting into Pokemon card collecting for some reason, and this is just one of them here, but we do laser engraving just like this on the top of these slabs. We do it to Pokemon cards, baseball, football, NHL, you name it. We sell them on Etsy and they're pretty cool. I'll leave a link in the description. How about that? If you guys ever wanted to pick one up. All right, so that's all the cars in my collection with the exception of the Traxxas Haas, which is down there. I'm in the process of currently like parting that thing out. I don't really like it anymore. All right, well, that's it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel and you like RC stuff, make sure you guys subscribe. I'd love to see your faces around on the channel sometime, but that's it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.